So we're, today we're going to talk about Spearman's rank difference correlation coefficient. So Spearman's rank difference correlation coefficient is also known as spearman ro and it's applicable when the set of scores that is available is in term of rank orders and when the set of scores is small also no or, or specifically lesser than 30. So the formula for spearman ro is Rho, which is the P sign, equals 1 minus 6 summation of D squared all over N times N squared minus 1. So P, again, is our Rho. That's a Greek letter. And then N will be our number of pairs, or, or in simpler terms, our number of variables. D would be the difference between two sets of pairs. So... In some other examples, when n is 10 or greater, once we solve for rho, we use the rho in our t-test formula, t-variable formula, which is t equals rho uh, times the square root of n minus 2 all over 1 minus rho squared. So here in our first example, we can see there are five columns, one for contestants, for the first judge, second judge, d and d squared. In the contestants row, we can see eight letters, A, B, C, D, until H. And then there's the first judge and the second judge. That's our given. First judge and second judge is already given. So we have to find the difference between the two. So what we do is we subtract and we get the D. So 2 minus 1, it's 1. 4 minus 2, 2, you get the gist. And D squared, D squared is simply just squaring the D table. So 1 squared, that's 1, 2 squared, 4, negative 4 squared, 16, etc., etc. In our solution, we have summation of d squared, which is 44. Summation meaning we add all the values in our d squared column, and that's equal to 44. So we, we can now move on to the raw, or solving for the raw, which is, again, the formula is raw equals 1 minus 6 summation of d squared all over n times n squared minus 1. So we input our values, 1 is our constant, and 6 is also our constant. So instead of summation of d squared, we put in 44, so 6 times 44, and our n is 8, because there are 8 variables in our contestant column from a to h, and 8 squared. So we've solved for that, Eight, 6 times 44 is 264, 8 squared is 64, minus, and then minus 1, which is 63, so 8 times 63, which is 504. So we have 264 over 504, which gives us an estimated answer of 0 0.523. So when we reach this point, this fraction should be estimated, at, rounded off at three decimal places. So we have 1 minus 0. 523 which is 0 0.48 so we round off this answer our final answer our raw to 0 0.48 two decimal places which is our final answer so here in our second example we can see there is instructor third year fourth year d1 d2 d and d squared and there are 10 variables so we could use the t-test formula but we'll get to that later. So we do the same thing. We have to rank them in order. But since we haven't ranked them yet, that's why we made separate tables for D1 and D2. So after all that's done, we have our D and D squared. So the D, the same as our last example, we have to subtract their differences. So it's 4 minus 3.5, that's 1.5, 3 minus 6, negative 3, so on and so forth. And when you get that, you square everything. So 1.5 squared, that's 0 0.25, negative 3 squared, 9, and negative 1 squared is 1, etc., etc. So for our solution, again, we got the summation of d squared, which is all we need for spearman Ra, which is 215.5. Now we can proceed to solving for the Ra, which is 1 minus 6 summation of d squared all over n times n squared minus 1. 
So we input all the values, replace summation of d squared with 215.5, replace n, and n squared with the same value, which is 10. And we get 10 squared, which is 100. And so we proceed. So 6 times 215.5 is 1,293. 10 squared is 100. 100 minus 1 is 99. 10 times 99 is 990. So we get all, uh, almost the final answer, which is 1 minus a fraction of 1,293 over 990. And that fraction is equal to 1.3. 306 and 1 minus 1.306 is equal to an estimated number of negative 0.31. Again, we round off our final answer by two decimal places. So since our n is 10 or greater, after solving for the row, we use the t-test formula. So moving on, so once we, we solve the row and our n is 10 or greater, we proceed to using the t-test formula, which is, again, um, t equals rho times the square root of n minus 2 all over 1 minus rho squared. So now we replace those variables as rho, so with rho with negative 0 0.31 on both rows, and our n, which is 10. So we continue, so 10 minus 2 equals 8, and negative 0 0.31 squared is equal to 0 0.961. So 1 minus 0 0.961 is equal to 0 0.9039. And now we solve for the fraction 8 over 0 0.9039, which is... 8.85053656. We're leaving that in its decimal form so that we can get the final answer once we get its square root. So now we're at t minus negative 0 0.31 times the square root of 8.85053656. Which is the square root of that is 2.974985137 times raw which is negative 0 0.31 which we get a final answer rounded off by two decimal places is negative 0 0.92 so here we have to make our ho cv tv and our decision so the ho there is no significant difference between third year and fourth year when you're making an ho um you always have to put there is no significant difference between whatever your variables are. So the TV will be referred to the t-test distribution. And here it's given that it's 5% significance and one tailed. So we have a separate table for that. And if it didn't state any percent, it will automatically be 5%. So sometimes it, instead of 5%, it'll be 1%, but it just it will be stated there in your problem. So. For the decision, the HO is accepted because the CV is lesser than your TV. Our CV is negative 0 0.92, and meanwhile our TV is 1.86. So obviously, the HO will be accepted because it says that there is no significant difference. And so yeah, there is no significant difference between third year and fourth year. Because if CV is lesser than TV, then it's accepted. CV is greater than TV, it's rejected. And here in our last example, we have height by inches, father, and height by inches, son. D1, D2, D, and D squared. So here's our given 65, 63, 67, so on and so forth. And our son, you can see down there. And so we have, like the last example, we have to rank them, rank them by their, by order of highest to lowest. So after doing that for both, you get their dif their difference by subtracting. So 11 minus 7, that's 4. 14 minus 12.5, it's 1.5, so on and so forth. And do the same for D2. 
So here, our HO, there is no significant difference between father and son. Like I said earlier, um, it will always be no significant difference. And then moving on to get the row, we apply the formula, substitute, and you get our answer, which is 0 0.73. And after that, since our variables are more than 10, we apply the t-test. So get the, get the formula for the t-test apply it, substitute, and our answer will be 3.85. So here we have the df, which is n minus 2, that's the formula for df, n 15 minus 2, that's our constant, that's 13. So we'll use 13 to look for the value in our table, in our t-test table. So our cv is 3.85, which we got from the t-test formula and our TV from the table, which is 1.771. So the decision, the HO is rejected because the CV is greater than TV. There is no significant difference between father and son. So meaning father and son, they're about the same height, I guess. And yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching and goodbye.